What is up, gang? I want to tell you about some proposed changes to downtown Denver that could make downtown look quite a bit different in the coming years. These range from just making some blocks downtown pedestrian only and not allowing cars, making them more walkable, to literally putting a gondola over I-25. We're going to see what's going on and see what it actually means. For those of you new here, I am Sam Newman. I'm a Denver real estate professional. It's my goal to be your go-to real estate resource in the city of Denver. If I can do anything for you, please do reach out. I want to work with you. Okay. So so there's a recent Denver Post article about this, and this is kind of paywall. So I am paying for it so you don't have to. I do believe in supporting journalism. The journalism is owned by a global conglomerate that's not great for journalism. You know, what do you do? Okay, so here it is. Here's the article. Denver moves to permanently close some streets to traffic, and they talk about the gondola over I-25, which is a, a legitimately proposed change that the city is considering. So basically, to start with, this is a proposal that's just a continuation on what happened during during COVID. During COVID, because of a lot of outside dining, there were some streets that were just closed off to traffic and made pedestrian only. Den what Denver's basically saying is, hmm, this is kind of nice. People are liking it. The business owners are on board. Maybe we just do this permanently. And for what it's worth, I'm in favor of this too. I love having uh, walking malls or pedestrian malls, that type of thing downtown. My thoughts on 16th Street Mall are very clear. That one is terrible. But in general, I love this idea. And when Larimer Square was closed down for COVID, initially I was like, oh, that's weird. And then pretty quickly, I realized this is a nice little thing. It's not really blocking anything too. It's not that disruptive to traffic the way it is. You just go one block down and then drive. And the article says it's all part of a broader effort to make the city more friendly to those walking and biking. And this is something you hear a lot in cities like Denver. We're going to try to make it more pedestrian friendly and get away from using cars so much. That in general to me is a bit of a losing battle. We are a car culture here in America, and that's going to take a while while to get away from that. And a lot of these things they do are good for the city, but to try to make us less dependent on cars, that's an uphill push. So the temporary closures in line to become permanent. So here's what's going on with the closures. Two stretches along Larimer Street and one on Glen Arm. They're all downtown, basically one of them is in Rhino, but they have entered a city process to stay closed for another five years. After that, those closures would become permanent if nobody objects. If everybody's cool with it, then this is just how it'll be from there on out. If somebody's not cool with it, we'll have to figure that out. So I'm gonna show you the three of them real quick. First one is Larimer Street between 14th and 15th. Uh, you can see the satellite here. That's Larimer Square. There's a nice shadow around it, but if you've been downtown, you know Larimer Square. It's kind of the perfect place for this because there's a lot of businesses and restaurants that work really well with the front patio setup. It's great. I am very much in favor of it. Second one's also Larimer. If you go up towards Rhino, into Rhino, between 29th and 30th, uh, if you know where Barcelona Wine Bar or Ratio Beer Works here is in Rhino, this has been closed for a while. This one, I don't... It never really makes sense to me when I go past it, but I'm certainly not opposed to it. It's just a different vibe than the Larimer Square downtown one, but that's where that is going to stay closed off for five years, theoretically. And the last one is Glen Arm, also downtown, sort of more southeast downtown between 15th and 17th. So that's going to intersect with 16th Street Mall. I think there's a Taco Bell there. It's down by the convention center. It's good. It's a good thought. We got some work to do on 16th Street, but I'm generally in favor of all of these. Minimally invasive and will make the city more unique and just more friendly to pedestrians and people walking about and biking about. And when you're talking about downtown, I feel like that's kind of the idea. You should be able to drive downtown. Like I said, we're a car culture. That's not going away anytime soon. But promoting the walkability of downtown seems like an obvious move. Okay, so that's that one. Then if we move down, we get to the really fun part, a gondola in Denver. So there's this partnership, Downtown Denver Partnership, an economic development group that has proposed the Central Platte Valley Gondola that's going to link Union Station to the Highlands, basically. Low high. It is envisioned as a system that could move 3,600 people an hour on three minute rides across the Platte River in 25. They're saying we need to be more efficient with moving people rather than people walking this way, because I guess that would take 20 to 30 minutes to walk. Well, we could get on a gondola and go between these two places in three minutes. They say they may seem intrusive from a visual standpoint, but they are super efficient for people moving. And there's actually, this is a whole proposal, so there's a bunch of information about this. So you're seeing the diagram over to the right here. This is from the city's website, you go from Union Station all the way up to the Highland. It's interesting. I've never heard of this before. Apparently there's gondolas in Portland and Bolivia. So we're following in those, those footsteps. There's a feasibility study that I guess they're going to figure out if this makes sense. I'm sure it's going to cost a ton of money. Everything does. But there's also a video about the Central Platte Valley Gondola. This shows what's going on. Yes, Union Station. There's Pepsi Center down there. But we're really connecting Lodo and Lohi. Move at 20 feet per second, which would get you from Union Station to Central Street 
street in around three minutes. I don't know. I didn't know that that was the thing that people, I, I really needed to get from Union Station to Lohi. I've done that walk a few times, so I guess it makes sense for that to happen. It seems weird to put in a gondola just for that, but we are a ski culture out here in Colorado. So maybe in Denver, we'd be more open to that type of thing than some cities because we're used to gondolas and chairlifts and all those things in the mountains. It may even be charming for that reason. It's like when people try to make those uh, Adirondack chairs out of skis and they always look funky, but you kind of get the idea. Well, let's have a gondola downtown, help move people that apparently need to get from Central Street to Union Station super quickly and also be the city with a gondola. Portland has one too, but they're wild up there. They, I, I don't, they got all kinds of stuff. Personally, I am in favor. No one asked, but I'm rubber stamping this proposal. And uh, yeah, let's close those streets for the next five years and see how it goes. Seems like a reasonable thing. Larimer Square operates very well as a pedestrian walking area. And let's also figure out 16th Street Mall. It's kind of gross. We got to do better there. That's an aside. Again, if I can be of service in any way, please do reach out. Otherwise, thank you for watching. I love you. See you soon.